after scouring the chaos wastes, spreading plague and affliction in his wake, Kugath arrives in the realm of Slanesh, ready to extract his vengeance. Here, Nakari awaits in thinly veiled anticipation, for fresh sensation and succulent war are aching to be experienced. For Nakari, nothing is more important than the taste of ecstasy in its purest form. As Slanesh's greatest keeper of secrets, Nakari has broken empires and countless minds in his eternal quest for new depraved sensations. Though he harbors a particular hatred for the elven twins of Ulthwan, he puts aside his plans in order to teach the unclean hordes of Nurgle's minions a much-needed lesson on the beauty of pain. His unending search of hedonistic perfection has led him to probe the legions of Nurgle. For, perhaps, past their disgusting facade, they possess the ultimate sensation, of which Nakari is desperate to experience. On the slopes, marauders and demonettes hold back the coming surge. Seldom little can stand against the green tide of Nurgle's infection, though Nakari is delighted to try. He employs the Lash of Slanesh to thin the Nurgling hordes. One by one, Nakari's defenses fall, pushing he and his seducers into a corner. The Arch Tempter does not accept his fate quietly and casts Witsteeler Sword, turning himself into a one demon army. He revels in anticipation of the blissful pain he is about to receive and bestow. But a one demon army cannot hope to stand against the strength of Nurgle's garden, no matter how delightful the sensation. Slanesh is no child to be outmaneuvered by bloated pox carriers, no fool to be punished for daring to desire. The Lord of Skulls bathes in blood, the Changer of Ways plays his games, and the Urfather spreads his little diseases. But the Prince of Pleasure, the Lord of Excess, is dedicated to the pursuit of earthly gratification. And what is more gratifying than victory? Excess is not mere flesh and gluttony. Excess is violence. Excess is unchained potential. Excess is perfection. A trap, and one Kugath willingly walked into. The seducers of Slanesh keep their attacks coming, pressing the invaders in tighter and tighter. As devastating flankers, Slanesh followers grow all the more eager and deadly when exploiting an enemy's exposed flanks. Demon faces demon in a mad carousal of disease and debauchery, culminating in a hysterical frenzy fanned by Nakari. To claim that ever-tantalizing victory, Nakari casts Slicing Shards. A mirror forms in the sky, reflecting the ugliness of Nurgle's followers back at themselves. It shatters into a myriad of deadly shards that lacerate and impale the demons below. An unfortunate outcome, Kugath admits as he slowly abandons the battle. Nakari may have his victory. Let him see if it was worth it in the coming days when Kugat's beautiful contagions begin to take hold. Though victorious, Nakari did not experience the ultimate sensation within Nurgle's hordes. And so his search continues.